Hello boys and girls, welcome to another EJ25 build video. This is part 5. We're going to take care of the cylinder heads. Now you see me here lubricating the uh, buckets or the lifters before I install the head onto the block. Now you can do this before or after, it doesn't matter. I'm also going to install ARP studs. You do have to torque down the head before you install the camshafts. I'm also going to measure valve lash, basically the clearance between the buckets and the cams, and then the valve covers. So as always, like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. First the guide pins, or dowel pins, dowels, whatever. So ARP says there can be any oil on any of the washers, any of the nuts where they meet. Same thing goes for the six spots where the nuts will go hold against on the head. There can be no oil at all. The only lubrication I'm going to use is this assembly lubricant on the studs there you go clean the spot faces on the cylinder head where the washer sits nothing about lubricating the studs going into the block just hand tighten the studs with the hex and remove that oil from those uh, washers and nuts there you go lubricate the stud threads and the bottom of the nuts with ARP lubricant and then we're going to torque him Alright, so you saw that as I was driving these in, I heard bubbles popping and sounded like there's water in them. So I had a tiny bit amounts of water in each hole. I did um, clean the block, I dipped it in hot water with soap. That was two, two days ago or so. Anyways, took them. I'm, I'm gonna do the other side the same way. They, they say to install the head first and then the studs. I'm gonna do it this way. It's just easier. So now it's ready for the head. There we go, perfect fit. Actually, another thing that's going to be easier before I put the head back on, and that's applying the lubricant to the stud, to the threads right here. Wow. 
Cleaned up the washers. No lubrication on the washers. Either side. So we're doing 30, 60, then 90. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a workout. Alright, that's the intake camshaft. It actually says IN for intake. And this one is exhaust. I don't know if you can see this EX for exhaust. So as I was saying to a turned off an, a not recording camera, I applied a thin bead of RTV along here, here, and here. Okay, I'm gonna install this. Forgot to look this up. So finger tight for now, same story as always.
too much lubrication. These actually also say exhaust and intake. So this is exhaust. And this is intake. Okay, I can torque these two down in two steps. First step is seven. Second is 15. I'm gonna wait on that RTV to dry up. And I just remembered something. Remember this, I forgot to tighten this down. Okay, time to torque these down. First, I'm gonna start with these. Torque it down to 15, it's actually 14.8. So the two in the middle first. You move out to the outside ones. And then these four get 7.2. I got it set down to seven. I'm just gonna go over 0.2. Actually, I'll set it to eight. So again, two in the middle. This one's a bit too tight. I'm gonna back off a bit. Now, since all these are torqued, I can check the clearance between the cups or lifters. I think they're called cups and the uh, the cams. So I got some numbers. I already measured these few times but never with the head being on the block torque down and all it may be different that's why I'm rechecking so basically what you do is you just take a filler gauge and you I got a 0 0.007 here see it slides under this one it kind of wants to go under here oh it, it does it's so this is for sure that's a seven thousandths this one the first one which is fine it's supposed to be between seven to nine thousandths so since the 7,000 went in easy on the re remaining three, I'm going to switch to 8,000 and recheck again. So it doesn't want to go in here. It does not go in here. It does go through here. It's barely. It's tight. So I call, I'd say that's a 7. 7 to 8, 7 to 8, and then uh, 8 to 9, which is perfect. Let's check the exhaust. Exhaust is supposed to be between 9 and 11, so 8,000 to 11,000. So I'm going to start with 9. Goes in easy. Easy, easy, and easy. Let's go up to 10. Easy, 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 and easy. 11 thousands. Goes in, goes in, and in. Got a 12 here, 0 0.0112. Goes in, in. Okay, I'm gonna double check on those measurements. I believe it may be higher than 9 to 11 could be uh, 13 to 15 okay so it is a bit higher it's supposed to be 0 0.0138 which is nearly 14 14 thousands plus or minus 0 0.0008 very confusing so I'm just gonna go straight to 14 there we go doesn't fit does not fit no and no. All right, just just for fun, I'm gonna try and try and go with uh, thirteen point zero one three. No. Nope. I'm gonna try 12 again. 
Yeah, 12 goals there, no, no issues. So I guess they're going to be a bit tight. The clearances did actually change. I could maybe loosen these up a little bit. So when I had the head off on the bench, I did, I installed the uh, camshafts, you know, all this, no RTV on this, obviously, didn't need to. Uh, they were a little bit looser. I even got a 14 on one of them, but it was a, a mixture of 13 uh, to 14. Right now we're at 12 all across the board, probably 12 and a half or so. The 13 kind of feels like, like it wants to go in. I don't want to force it. I did go 15 on these. It was supposed to be 14.8. I'm going to loosen these up a little bit. So 14.8. Fourteen six. Let's go with that. Let's see if that made any difference. Hmm, goes in here now. Thirteen. I mean, it wants to go in. Check twelve again. Yeah, no, no problem there. It's probably like a 12 and a half, close to 13 on these two. I'm staying with that. Should be fine. All right, time for the valve cover. But before the valve cover can go on, we need to put some RTV in a few areas here. First, these, these um, half moons, the two that go here. These are aluminum. The factory ones are plastic. They like to crack and starting from about here a thin bead all the way up to here so basically on these on these uneven well these are smooth surfaces, it's just inclines, declines, so that's where they want RTV. Right about there. A bit more in the corner. I did polish the valve cover a little bit. It would uh, take much longer to get it super shiny. All right, these guys torque down to 4.7. I'm going with five, starting here and basically going across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 